Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our first episode of Quick Tutorials. To open our series, we will be creating a custom distortion in After Effects. So let's get started. With a blank composition called Thin Distortion, create a new solid. Then go to the rectangle tool or select the shape of your choice. With the shape mask selected, draw out a variety of thin masks. This can be completely random. After you have drawn out several masks, create a new composition called Thick Distortion. From here, we will repeat the same things we did in the first comp, but this time we will make the mask larger. After you are done creating your custom mask, let's go to our footage comp. Drag in the two compositions we just created and hide them. Then, let's select our footage and go to Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. Set the Displacement Map layer to the Thin Distortion Comp layer. Click the stopwatches for Max Horizontal Displacement and Max Vertical Displacement and set their values to 0. Reselect the layer and hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Move forward in time by one frame and increase the horizontal displacement and vertical displacement. Move forward in time again by a few frames and add a keyframe for both parameters. Finally, move forward in time by one frame and set both parameters to zero. Back in the effects control panel, duplicate the displacement map. Set the displacement map layer to the thick distortion comp layer. Then, reselect the footage and bring up the keyframes from the duplicated effect. Select all the keyframes for displacement map too and then move them over to come on right after the keyframes for the original displacement map. Save your project, render, and you're done. Thank you for watching our first quick tutorial. Let us know what you think of our first episode in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon.